Hammer down time from El Paso. Uh-oh, the 15-year-old Hunter Smith is out in front. All right, guys, I'm out here at the El Paso County Raceway with the 19X stock car. That's Mr. Mike Puckett. And you all voted him number one in the stock car division with 58 votes. You said you wanted an interview from the hometown man. So I'm here with him, and we got the carnival in the background. We got the fair going on here. Mike, did you ever spend any time at the El Paso County Fair as a kid? Oh, plenty of times. And what did that mean to you? What was that kind of like for you coming here as a kid and getting to spend? I mean, it's kind of gotten a bit bigger, I'm sure, over the years. But how oh. was that for you as a kid? Oh, it was great. And you get the kids out here. They get to go see animals. They get to see the racers. And they get to spend time eating candy candy and all that kind of good stuff. Puking it up right after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I know you love the fair. How much does the race at the fair mean to you? Having, because it's a pretty big one with the community and everybody here, what does that mean to you getting to race in front of all your hometown fans? Oh, it's great. Plus all the racers, it's like one big giant family. Everybody helps each other out. And a lot of guys from Calhan. You got the O'Lear brothers as well. You guys are always out yep. there duking it out. Yep. Yeah, a lot, a lot of Calhan racers, a lot of people from this town. I mean, that's obviously why we have the racetrack here, right? Yep. It was here because we had the need for it. And Well, yeah, that and the rodeo and all yeah, that. Yeah, but, we had the big yep. space. So what can we look for tonight from the 19X car? Uh, well, I'm still trying to fix all those repairs from the Pueblo race. Yeah, that honor race was yep. pretty mean right, on I got you. a little airborne there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Joe tapped me a little bit, but, you know, that's racing. We'll see how it works tonight. I think I got it all fixed up. Awesome. Good to hear from you. Nice Good to Good luck hear tonight, Mr. Muff Mr. Puckett. Not Muckett. Mr. Puckett. <laughs> Look out for him tonight, guys. Top five at El Paso County Raceway. All righty. Next up, guys, we got the 36 hobby stock. That's Mr. Jason Rispin. He was voted number one in the hobby stock division, but also number one overall with, I believe, 84 votes for an interview out here tonight. So you got him, guys. You got Mr. Rispin out here with you now. Now, how long have you been racing with us out here at El Paso? It hasn't been super long, has it? This is my first season, actually. That's what I thought. I thought it was a new car out there. So what's it taken you in your first season to be able to get that car on the track, whether it be help from other people, just learning your own personal knowledge? What has it taken you to, get, to be able to get that car on the track and race competitively every week? Actually, it's taken the support of my family. Uh, I spent two years building this car. The pandemic didn't help things yeah, much, no. but it gave me an extra year to build the car. So I actually used to race back in the 80s. Okay. So I haven't raced in 37 years, so I haven't got my sea legs yet, you know? Yeah. So I'm still out there trying to figure it out, but boy, it's a blast. It's bringing back all kinds of memories, and I'm today at the fair it's just fantastic i mean it's great to be a part of the fair this is actually my first time at the el paso oh, county there fair you go. yep so we so, had a, we had got someone that's been here since a kid and someone that's just now joining us for his first time and that's but I, awesome but i'm excited to be a part of it because uh you know it helps bring uh awareness to the sport and exactly. it's really nice to see the stands get filled up with all the spectators that they do from week to week and i'm anticipating a really oh, good it's show tonight be a great crowd tonight so one more question before i let you go yes, sir. get back to the car can you explain the paint job for me a little bit? Because I, I get kind of a military vibe off of it when you're flying around the track. Can you explain why you picked the colors you did and why you did the color scheme you um, did? Well, I am not military background, but okay. I have worked with a lot of military in my past. Uh, I'm a Spartan kind of guy. Okay. I'm a utilitarian, and the colors, it just, it just works. I just wanted it to does. show I'm a basic plain car getting out there uh nothing fancy no shine no glitz no nothing just the the colors that the military would use kind of like as a, just a tribute yeah. you know because of my respect for them but you know uh that's just kind of why i went with those colors we might have just coined a nickname for you the general the <laughs> general jason rispin folks out there in the 36 machine look out for the 36 hobby sock tonight guys it's going to be a great main event thank you very All much right, thank jason. you very much all right, guys, I'm here with the 11A, Miss Amanda McDonald. We're out here at El Paso County Raceway today. She was voted number one in the Sport Compact Division with 77 votes. You guys wanted to hear, in her, hear her in an interview, and here she is, the 11A. I'm going to wait for him to get quiet behind us. It's kind of <laughs> annoying. But, yeah, we got Amanda out here in the Sport Compact Division. Oh, You've been yeah. doing real good this year. Oh, yeah. That 11A, that is Sean Frank's old car, correct? It is. It is. Yep. I told him I wanted it, and I got it. Sure enough. Have you had to do anything else to soup that up or get it beefed up a bit more since you got it for Sean, or was it ready oh, to go? Man, he left it perfect for us. He awesome. made sure it was a good car, and we just kept running with it and haven't had to do much. So you're just like, all right, I'm going to buy the car, and I'm just going to put a better driver in it and then take <laughs> off and run away from oh, everybody, yeah. essentially. Throw a female in <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, I got to. Girl, got to go out there and show them how to do it. Awesome. Oh, yeah. So 
You've been racing here, this is what, year two now? Yes, year two. How are you liking it? Is this something you're gonna continue to do or are you just kinda like, all right, I had my fun, I'm out? <laughs> no, I hope to continue. I really wanna get in a hobby style. There we go, year, there we go, moving up goes, classes, that's sure. good. Awesome, awesome. So in that hobby stock division, what would you expect up there? I mean, you're obviously moving to a rear, a rear wheel dri drive car and a bigger class with more cars. So do you feel prepared for that? I do. For some reason, I like drifting in a front wheel drive car, which you shouldn't be yeah. doing. So I'm hoping I can do it in a rear wheel drive A little bit easier in a rear wheel drive. Yeah. Awesome. Is there anybody you'd like to thank for helping you get, get up here and get out here, get on the track? Yeah, I'd like to thank my sponsors, um, Colorado Barbecue Outfitters. My uncle actually owns that store, and I'd like to thank Integrity Auto. They helped me get my wheels. There you go. Yeah, and then Greenbeard Customs. He's actually the one who helped mount my seat in for me. Awesome. You got one main event win this year, right? Yeah, actually two. Two. So we're looking for three tonight at El Paso County Raceway, oh, guys. Yeah, looking for three. So. Look out for it. Amanda McDonald, <laughs> the 11A. She's going to be out there ripping it up tonight, guys. Thank you very much, thank Amanda. You.